Welcome back. We are here on eToro looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, um, October 22nd, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. That really helps this channel a lot. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. So we'll start out by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we are trading well beneath the 50 moving average we have we broke it yesterday now we're trading way below it and that me this is an indication that we are going to go lower so we are running into a little bit of resistance this was resistant back here is is in the beginning of august uh, the next resistant line is here at the 92.17 um, and after that we'll go to these lows of 91.71 71. if this breaks then we are going to go much lower we can we look all the way back here to this resistant uh, here is 90.79 and if the 90 level breaks then we'll get a absolute collapse of the us dollar index so this is mainly due to the fact that we are waiting for the news whether or not we get additional stimulus or not at this point it is very unlikely and uh, it's not because of the president i don't know if if he knows what he wants, but he just wants something good, um, is not due to the Democrats that have tried to get this, um, and not really understand why, uh, in political terms, but it is basically the United States Senate Republicans that are in the mix here. They are not willing to uh, negotiate on a significant um, bill before the election. It is both the minority leader in the, in the in the House of Representatives and also the majority leader in the in the Senate that are basically saying no, do not do this. So it may well pass. We may get the news that uh, that uh, Mnuchin and Pelosi have uh, done a deal, and that of course will affect um, the market positively. But it has to pass the Senate in order to to uh, come into effect, and that is not very likely before the election and if it doesn't happen before the election it won't happen or most likely won't happen until february next year um so uh, we look at the technical indicators they are all looking very bearish at this moment both them macd the stochastic and also the rsi and the cci everything is pointed to lower levels we're entering uh over sold territory uh, but not yet. I believe that we're going to test this level at 92.17 uh, before uh, we have a pullback towards the 50 moving average. So, of course, this will has had an effect on most commodities. Uh, there's a, a negative correlation between the US dollar and uh, commodities and special metals. So uh, uh, there is an increase on, in the pressure metal market and also the commodities market. So if you look at oil... We can see that we uh, did rally earlier today, but we uh, have fallen a little bit at the moment. Uh, we are trading at uh, forty-one dollars, and uh, yes, we are still trading above the fifty moving average. If we break the fifty moving average, then we may expect this market to fall all the way towards this level at ninety uh, thirty-nine dollars, uh, and all the way towards the two hundred moving average. Technical indicators for uh, for WTI are looking uh, not very good. If you look at the uh, stochastic and the uh, MACD, they are basically flat both indicators. But the CCI is showing sign uh, that is basically to, uh, about to turn around. And we saw last time with the CC turn, uh, CCI turned around, we basically got this. We fell all the way from uh, thirty one point six four. All the way down towards uh, for uh, 39 point 30, 40, 32 dollars so this is an indication that we are going to go lower but we have to break the 50 moving average if we break the top of this uh, these candlesticks here then we'll go all the way to the top here of uh, 43.85 so we are trading in a range. Uh, we are in the lows of uh, $36. And we are in the highs of 
uh, dollars. So we are, have been training in this range for months now, and there's technically nothing happening. Um, even though we get an additional stimulus, I doubt that it will have any effect on this market. It probably will rise uh, a few percentages uh, to the upside, but we'll quickly find out that there just isn't the demand for oil in the world economy at this point. And I do believe that it's just only a matter of time before we break the 50 moving average, the 200 moving average, even these lows, and go significantly lower. If you look at the Fibonacci retracement, I do believe that we are in the long run going to test the first Fibonacci retracement here at $30 at least. So if you look at natural gas, we continue our climb to the upside. We went all the way to 3.3 uh, and we pulled back just a little bit. We are in overbought territory at the moment. It is um, not a good idea to enter the market at this point. Probably a, a, a short, but even though we don't know how far this basically falls and it can basically change direction very quickly. So best tactics here is basically to, to see whether or not this falls very close towards the 50 moving average and in order to enter with a buy position. Uh, if we break the 50 moving average, that opens the door to these lows of the 2.46 and then towards the 200 moving average. But at this time, that is not uh, expected. We are in uptrend and uh, <clears throat> we are just going to go higher and higher at this point. We are running into resistance at this point. This is historically been resistant area, but last time we were in the resistant area here, we basically got this. So we are entering the cold winter months uh, in the, the United States and also in Europe, and that usually has a bump to the upside. Um, so expect higher prices. However, we are overbought at this point. We are just waiting for a pullback that can come at any point. Uh, but at this point, um, technical indicators are looking still very healthy. There's no sign of exhaustion yet, but that can turn around really quickly. So if you look at copper, copper continues its climb. Uh, this um, is also due to the US dollar index, but we are at the moment trading at the 3.214, which is uh, a two year high. Um, at, this at this point, we are almost overbought. Um, the CCI is probably the indicator that you should look at when it starts to turn around, which is not doing at the moment. We could expect this market to pull uh, very quickly towards the 50 moving average. I don't really see the reason why uh, for this climb here. The, this is similar to oil. It is really depending on uh, the demand in the world economy. And at the moment, the world economy is not doing very well. To compare these prices, or these prices here, to prices uh, and demand back in 2018 is quite far-fetched in my point of view. I think this is uh, really overvalued and I would not, I would not, I'm more of a seller in this market than a buyer. I do believe that in the long run, this will fall back towards the 2.6 level. But at this moment, moment we are rising <clears throat> and, um, and uh, this should be, uh, we should run into significant resistant because this was a previous significant resistant. Uh, a fallback towards the 50 moving week average would probably be a, a buying opportunity. Uh, this is just not for me at the moment because I don't expect this market to go uh, significantly higher. I uh, expect this market to basically fall. Uh, a fall below the 50 moving average opens the door to uh, 2.8, and I do believe that will fall uh, in time to 2.7, 2.6. But uh, technical indicators for copper at this point are really bullish, all of them. So you look at gold. Gold has pushed higher mainly due to the uh, US dollar index, basically the collapse of the US dollar index uh, today. 
we have pierced the 50 moving average. We are also on the verge of breaking this trend line, which we also have. So if we can get an additional candlestick above the 50 moving average, a green full candle body above the 50 moving average, that is a very, very promising sign. However, we have been here before. We have been in this range before. We found out that it is significant uh, resistant at this area here. So uh, at this point, if the US dollar turns around, um, if there is no stimulus, for example, you could basically see this market completely turn around at, at, uh, at uh, any time. And I'm do I don't expect uh, a stimulus. I really don't. So, so um, it may be that Pelosi and Munchen, uh, Munchen uh, or, uh, can get an agreement, but I don't expect it to pass the Senate, and therefore there will be no relief before the election. <clears throat> Sorry. So if you look at the technical indicators for gold, uh, MACD is looking technically flat. The stochastic as is showing signs of strength to the upside. So is the CCI and also the RSI. Um, if we pull back from here, if we pull back to underneath the 50 moving average, that is not a good sign for this market. Uh, it could basically uh, be a sign that we are going much lower. So if you look at silver, We can see that we have rallied up towards the 50 moving average. We are still trading underneath the 50 moving average. And uh, this is also mainly due to the, uh, to the depreciation of the US dollar index. So we are, if we break the 50 mo uh, moving average, we are going to run into resistance in this area here. So I do expect a pullback from the 50 moving average as I do expect a pullback in gold. Um, this market will most likely fall towards the $20 um, uh, range before going higher. Um, so if we pull back from the 50 moving average, that could basically be a sign that we are about to go lower. If we break above the 50 moving average and this resistant area here, then we are going much higher, all the way to uh, uh, 28 and then also to 29 or, uh, or 30. So if we look at the technical indicators, they are all looking very bullish at this point. The MACD, Stochastic, and also the CCI and the RSI are all pointing to higher levels. So if you look at uh, Cocoa, Cocoa has rallied as expected up towards the 200 moving average, and then we are, have fallen again. If we manage to break through the, the, the 200 moving average, then we'll find resistance at the 50 moving average. And uh, if we manage to get above the 50 moving average, then we are going to go much higher. We also have uh, quite a lot of resistance above the 50 moving average, but technical indicators for Cocoa are looking really nice at the moment. We see that stochastic has come alive again, it's pointed to, to bullish momentum. The, CCI, the MACD is about to cross the signal line indicating bullish momentum. And so is the CCI and the uh, RCI, R, RSI. So it may well be that we uh, push through the 200 moving average and the 50 moving average. If we uh, pull back from here, then we'll find the support at 2.325. And if that breaks, then we are going much lower to 2.2 and then all the way to 2.0 uh, in this market. So if we look at platinum, we can see that we have pushed higher in platinum towards the 50 moving average, pulled back a little bit. However, I do, and I have said this in all of my videos about platinum, I do favor the upside in platinum uh, more than the downside. And the main reason is because we have such significant support underneath uh, these lower levels. So even though we were to break through the 50, 200 moving average, we will find support straight away here at 833. So I do favor the upside, 
there is a little bit of uh, resistance above, for example, the 50 moving average. If we manage to break through that, then we'll go and retest these levels of 930, 940. Then we'll go to 980 to 1000. And that is most likely what is going to happen. Other than that, we could also expect this market to basically trade sideways in between the 200 and the 50 moving average, which we have now for done for several weeks. Technical indicators for platinum are very bullish at this point. Um, the depreciation of the US dollar index has um, increased the value of, of platinum and other uh, commodities or precious metals. So if you look at sugar, oh, sorry, there. So we have started to pull back. It started yesterday uh, after I did my, uh, my video. We saw a pullback and today we have seen another pullback. And at this point, if you look at the technical indicators, they are all pointing to lower levels. We were uh, overbought, we were quite overextended. Uh, we can just see the distance between the 50 moving average and the top here. When that happens, it usually we have a pullback. The question is whether or not we, how far we pull back. We can look at the Fibonacci retracements uh, there. The first one is at 0 0.1354. And after that, we'll run into the 50. I don't expect us to go to the 50. This will most likely be the level where buyers will come in and start buying uh, sugar again. This is a very bullish market at this point, um, but we are overextended. It is expected for this market to pull back uh, probably to 0 0.1376, which is the lows of here where we found previous found support. But technical indicators, they have turned around. MACD, Stochastic, CCI, and, uh, and also the, the RSI have all uh, turned around and are pointing to lower levels. If we, so, best tactic here, wait uh, until you, uh, it, it falls, and then you see, um, see a promising uh, green candle. That is an indication that this market will go higher. You will also see it definitely in the CCI when it basically turns around. So last but not least, we have weed. So we have pushed a little bit higher, but we are finding significant resistance at 636. At this point, we are expecting uh, a pullback. This market is uh, way overextended. And usually when we have a pullback, it goes really fast to the downside. You can just see here, it com completely collapses to the downside. At this point, we are uh, way overbought and it is about time that we uh, pull back towards the 50 moving average, get the 50 moving average to, um, to follow uh, up and so is the and so the 200 moving average um, before we basically climb higher uh, we could look at technical indicators the macd is not ready to to cross the signal line there'll probably be one or two more training days if we fall significantly then we'll also see the macd turn around our stochastic is flat at this point um, the cci is heading towards the, the lower uh, momentum and so is the RSI, which is basically flat at this point, but we are significantly overbought and therefore should expect a pullback uh, in this market. It's so far away from the 50 moving average that probably is a chance to short or short time short this. So um, you're welcome to support our channel. Hope this video was helpful. You can click the bottom, uh, the support and subscriber button down here in the corner, hit the like button. That really helps. Uh, with the, the YouTube algorithms to um, push these videos um, to the masses and also click the uh, bell button in order to see our newest videos. Good luck and thank you very much.